Welcome to Andy's How I Did It channel. Today we're going to show you how to replace the tube tire on your Show Me M365 or Hover One scooter with a solid replacement tire that will never go flat. Amazon has this tire separately or you can buy it mounted to a rim already and I'll link to those in the description below. If you need to know how to remove this tire from the scooter, I've created this video here which walks you through the removal and install process. Amazon has a couple of these tires including a glow in the dark version. You also may want to pick up some tire spoons and zip ties that I'll throw in the description down below. Stick around to the end because I've got a tip for you that shows you how to get this lined up. I'm using my removal tool that I linked in the other video and I'll link it down below that'll help you get that old tire off. You may need some new irons to help you get the new one on, but I use tools that I already found in my garage for this. Once we've removed the tube, I'm actually trying to see if I can use soapy water to get this tire on without having to go through the heating process that's detailed in the instructions you receive. I'm trying a monkey wrench. In fact, I tried a lot of different things and it's near impossible to get this tire on all by itself. So what I'm doing now is fashioning a two by four with an inch and a quarter hole in it that will allow the rim to fit down into it so I can have something solid to press on as I work this rubber tire onto the rim. Some of the things that you may want to use to get this tire onto the rim is crowbars, zip ties, screwdrivers, and soapy water, which you can see that I'm pouring onto the rim here for preparation. Now I've already boiled my tire outside in a pot full of water for around 15 minutes. It's steaming hot and you'll need some kind of gloves to be able to work this thing onto the rim. You can see the first thing I'm going to try and do is get at least one part of the tire set inside the grooves on the rim and then I'm going to take a zip tie. Once I get the tire in, I'm going to take that zip tie and go ahead and put it through a hole in the rim and around the tire to make sure that it doesn't come back off again. I'm using fairly good size zip ties. If you don't have any, I'll put a link in the description below on some that you can order. If you want to get some in when you order your tire all at the same time. These are good size and they held really well as I was working to put this tire on. Now again, this isn't the easiest thing to do, as you may have seen from some other videos and some instructions that this tire is actually very hard to manhandle into position to get it on the rim. The second thing I wanna do is get another section further down zip tied in probably four or five inches from the first zip tie so that I can get almost half of the tire situated on the rim and not able to come back off again. I found since this is a five spoke rim, I'm using two of the spokes that are I think one spoke apart to zip tie this other section onto the rim. And I put it in between the spokes so that it doesn't slip as I try and work the tire down the rim a little bit. Use a flat bladed screwdriver or some type of tool through the holes on the tire that help you manipulate it. But I will caution you not to do that too much because you can actually rip the rubber on the tire. From there, I'm gonna take, I'm using just a regular old crowbar to go ahead and work that rubber around the rim a little bit. You can see that it's not that easy to do and I was trying to do it straight centered across from the two zip ties that I had. That's not the best thing. Um, ultimately, I'm gonna have to move it to the side just a little bit, get one edge on, and then I'm going to stick my knee on part of the tire to help hold another piece of the tire on. I think you could probably use a third zip tie if you wanted to but I'm using my knee to go ahead and hold part of that tire. There we go. To go ahead and hold part of that tire on as I use the crowbar to work that last piece of rubber onto the rim. This is not an easy thing to do. It takes a lot of work, a lot of muscles to try and mash this thing on there. But once you get it on, you're actually still not done yet. There's a lot left to do because the tire itself, while it may be on the rim, is not actually centered on the rim. So what you're seeing me do is take the screwdriver and maneuver the tire in parts where it's shifted either to the left or to the right a little bit and try and line it up so that the rubber is even on all the sides. One of the things that you can look at to help you with this is you'll see these little holes. And if you look at them, they're closer to the edge of the rim 
on some parts and they're further away on other parts. And what you want is those little holes to be equidistant from the rim on both sides. Now, once I've done that, I'm gonna take the tire out of the holder that I had together and then adjust it a smidge more so that it's lined up before I line it back up in the grooves and again, reassemble the scooter. I do have another video that covers parts of this here, so I'm not going into deep detail on showing you how to do this, but I do wanna note that the brake must be realigned again, and the wheel must be able to spin freely with the brake caliper around the disc, or you're going to have premature rubbing on your brake pads and your disc. So one of my secrets here to get this thing lined up correctly is to take a flashlight, put it on the ground, and then shine it up centered into the disc and the brakes. And that way when you're standing behind of it, you can actually watch the tire rotate and make adjustments as needed where the disc rubs those brake pads inside. Once you're done with that, you just wanna go ahead, tighten those axle screws on down and then put those two covers back on with the four Phillips head screws, tighten those down and make sure once again that the tire rotates freely make any last minute adjustments with a big screwdriver that you may need to line the tire up correctly on the rim and the rest of it's good to go. Again, you can find links for these things down on Amazon. If you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe and I'll do my best to push out more.